Well, just across the Hudson River and New York City is this place. This is Hoboken, New Jersey. It is the home of Frank Sinatra. Don't worry, I'm not gonna sing any Frank Sinatra for you during this report. It's also known as the Mile Square City. There are 50,000 people densely packed into this place, but Hoboken is also becoming known for something else. You see, they're cutting down traffic and pedestrian deaths here. We're here to figure out what they're doing that's working so well and how we can use it in our region. To understand where we want to go, if you want to have a uh, positive change in improving the, sp your, your, the safety of your streets, uh, you have to have an all-in focus on things. We have to know where we've been. Well, somebody was probably going to get ran over some. Sometimes I don't feel safe around here. D.C. streets alone saw 40 people killed last year, the most since 2007. Among them, four-year-old Zaire Joshua. Five-year-old Allison Hart, 24-year-old opera singer Nina Larson. It's just very tragic. Um, I think we're all feeling there's dangerous traffic going on. Nationally, there's plenty of pain. The, the truth is we've come to just expect or assume that it's normal to lose thousands of lives every month on our roads. If 30 or 40,000 people died in our skies, on our planes every year, we would never accept that. Now, D.C. has what's known as a Vision Zero goal to eliminate all traffic deaths and serious injuries by 2024. At this point, that goal seems very far out of reach. But could a small city with just a fraction of the population of the district offer some comforting clues for peace of mind on our roads? Hoboken, New Jersey, hasn't had a single traffic-related death in four years. I definitely feel like it's true. Uh, I always feel safe here. All my friends feel the same way. Because of the, the, the layout of the roads, you kind of have to pay attention, and everyone's kind of very observant about where cars are coming from and what the lights are. Outreach, engineering, public safety buy-in, uh, lots of community buy-in uh, to get to where we are today. On this day, we meet Ryan Sharp, Hoboken's young and frankly sharp director of transportation and parking. About 10 feet here and about 10 feet there, so you've shortened the crossing distance by about 20 feet. He walks us around his town to show us where he and his team have put their focus for street safety. Senior buildings, schools, daycares, playgrounds, things like that. And that's where we try to target our investments to get the best return on our investment. We've been very fortunate to have four consecutive years of no uh, traffic deaths in Hoboken. There's some incredible street engineering knitted together here that coalesces in harmony. Bus lanes. Bike lanes, wide sidewalks, back angle parking, which lets drivers see as they pull out of parking spaces. Parking spaces that are away from crosswalks, meaning pedestrians have better sight lines to the street and precisely timed traffic signals, cutting down on potential conflicts between cars and pedestrians. When the light turns red, it gives pedestrians about a seven second head start to get out into the street. There's also strict traffic enforcement. And yes, car speeds are brought way down. Well, this is something you see around D.C. a lot, too, but almost every street corner here in Hoboken seems to have this method in place where they bump out the curbs and the corners so pedestrians have more space to stand and safely cross the street. Little things like that that are not earth shattering in their complexity uh, are really important in changing the game in terms of transportation safety. He says he's learned to very much rely on data and numbers to show where the problem points are. More crashes in one spot demand more attention. And he often simply walks the city to uncover so-called pain points, as he puts it, on his streets. But not to be lost in all of this is something that you can't see. It's a mindset. People here say they simply play by the rules of the road. It's just a bunch of friendly people living here. And that's it? Yeah, I guess that's it, yeah. And if there's truth in jokes, well, there may be some truth to what we hear about our region here in Hoboken. The last time I drove into D.C., I drove in personally, and I almost got into a car accident. So there's something, there's something, there's something up with you guys' uh, traffic lights that doesn't, that doesn't sit well with me, at least. As many places set so-called Vision Zero goals, which aim to eliminate traffic fatalities and serious injuries, words from a place that's leaving its mark 
by quite literally not leaving any marks. Just don't don't quit. And you definitely have to have your community fully engaged and supporting uh, because it takes uh, it takes a whole community to, to really to really do this. An all-in effort, a commitment from the top down to try to put the brakes on far too many tragedies. Adam Tuss, News 4. Transportation professionals from all across the country and some from our area have reached out to Hoboken leaders for help and advice. Adam Tuss will explore how some of these methods are working in an upcoming report.